this it's amazing at the Hauptbach uh, it's, it's, it's really really in the city center and I think to get the opportunity to show the ABB robot uh, here in the middle of Frankfurt is, is it's, yeah, it's just great. These techniques have, have a lot of potential which is not has not been used until now and like I think artists can be one group who can take this or find this potential and use it and uh, create something new with it. We have this project with the Luminale in Frankfurt where this robot stand on the park deck and we need somebody. Do you want to do this? And I said yes, would be nice. The Luminale Festival is a uh, festival for light art uh, and it's uh, part of the Light and Building Fair, which is the world's biggest fair for uh, building automation and architectural illumination. We normally we go to our customers in the factories. Now we reach a totally different uh, type of audience. And I, I think uh, sort of it can uh, help us also to, to, to create some type of more interest uh, in average for, for robotics. My name is Daniel Mock, I'm working for Realities United, uh, I'm chief architect. Realities United is an architecture art studio. Most things we do uh, the architects don't care about or the uh, technicians don't take care about. Uh, so we're kind of in the middle between everybody. So. Yes, it's kind of unique. Uh, we don't know a lot of off the studios who do the things we do. When we saw robots, we thought, okay, how can we use that in, to change uh, architecture, to uh, change building, to transform building. But until now, it was always the problem that uh, robots are expensive and uh, they get better, cheaper, so I think now we can use them. I've been a student intern for ABB for the last two years and this is just one of the projects I've worked on. I really liked the project because it was combining art and technology and I could work with artists, so which was a new thing and I really liked the work environment. It was friendly and nice and a new experience for me, especially as a student. So if you have an idea and you have a concept, you have to find the technique and more important, you find the people who can handle this technique. And then even more important to uh, find these people who are open, creative, uh, enthusiastic enough to go that, pro that way with you, that process with you. I started to realize his ideas in Robot Studio, which is our simulation program, which makes it really easy to try all the positions without breaking the robot in reality. We have this internship uh, set up in, uh, in robotics here in Germany and uh, every year we bring in new people and, uh, and we try to spread them in different parts of the organization. It could be, uh, it could be programming, but it could be other areas as well and of course that's, uh, that's uh, great for us and of course being an intern and have the opportunity to program a robot here is, is pretty cool. In future, robots will be part of, of buildings. We think uh, buildings will have like uh, uh, transforming roofs, transforming parts. Uh, that will be the future of, of architecture, I think, or one future of architecture. I think this project was, was a good example because I can work very self-sufficiently and I really like this idea. I use the term he for, for these machines because I have like a feeling it's more uh, an individual. I, if you, you learn about how, how he moves, how he behaves in a kind of way, so it was quite interesting that it's also like a change in our perspective, uh, how we look on this, this uh, machine. It's absolutely amazing because I've grown up close to here and then I could say my robot just stands here on a public place and it's absolutely cool. <laughs>